Welcome to Fun with Drilling Engineering. In our last video, you have already learned that the deep borehole is not just a simple hole in the earth. It involves drilling a section of formation, running in steel pipes called casings to secure the hole drilled. Then we drill the next section and set the next casing and so on. And the result is a system of several circular steel tubes with spaces in between. These spaces have to be filled with cement, just like we have here, with this white foam. Today we want to look at how we put the cement in this shallow annulus. If you represent a borehole with this cover, the next cover is the steel tube which is run into this hole and is of course of smaller diameter. Now you can see the narrow space which we need to fill with the cement. If you've ever blended cement and water in a bucket, you can certainly imagine this is not an easy task. We will not be able to squeeze the cement from the top into the little annulus. So we need to use a different method. Now, using this model, we want to pump the cement down through the inner part of the pipe to the bottom so that it fills upwards the space in between the pipes. But the problem is that while the cement is going down the long pipe, it could mix with the drilling fluid already in the hole. And we don't want that. So for the cementing procedure, we use rubber plugs like this. These are placed before and after the cement in the casing. We can show this here on our screen. The cement is pumped down the casing between the two rubber plugs to ensure it does not mix with the drilling fluid. When the first plug gets to the bottom, it cannot move any further. We continue pumping and the pressure increases until a small membrane bursts open in the lower plug just as you can see here. When the membrane bursts open, then the upper plug can continue pushing the cement forward so that the cement passes through the bottom plug and then rises upwards to fill the annular space. Of course, we want the cement to be evenly distributed around the pipe. That is why during the installation of the casing, we use what we call centralizers on the casings to keep the pipe centered. This is a small model but we also have a real centralizer here to see how it really works. Now let's try to recreate this process with a very little experiment. Here we have a syringe, which is a casing, a red portion, which is a cement, and the blue portion, which represents the drilling mud in the hole. So we begin the process slowly. Now we can see how the lower plug is moving downwards, gradually, gently. And when the lower plug gets to the bottom, the membrane breaks and the ketchup, which is the cement, fills upward from the bottom and spreads evenly round the space between the pipes. Wow, it really did work out fine. If you want to know more about this, come to our lecture on basics of drilling engineering here in Freiburg. We look forward to seeing you.